IPOB will support Yoruba Group's 1 million man match. Namde Kano. As the Guardian Angels, aka Onongo men, continues their evangelism along Ekotekmene Road at Ba this afternoon. Stay tuned. If you just stumbled on this channel for the very first time or you've been watching and yet subscribe, please, we urge you to do us the great favor. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for subsequent updates of our videos. Even as we thank greatly all our returning subscribers, may Elohim in heaven promote each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Now let's dive in. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Amdekano, has said that the group will support the one million man march proposed by Yoruba self-determination groups in the southwest. Kano in a tweet on Wednesday said, IPOB will also stand with all oppressed ethnic groups in Nigeria. In his words, as the brave men and women of Odudua plan this historic one million man march across southwest, I want to assure all and sundry that IPOB stand with you and all oppressed ethnic groups in Nigeria in this brave step and I implore all that desire freedom to support it. We move. Meanwhile, the one million man march has been postponed for a yet to be announced date. The notice was given on Monday by the umbrella body of Yoruba self-determination groups, Elana Omo Odua. In a statement issued on Monday, the body said the rally, which was scheduled to hold on Wednesday, would be delayed until there has been a consultation with other Yoruba social, cultural, and self-determination groups. The statement reads, in part, the much-awaited one million man March being organized across the Yoruba speaking states has been postponed until further notice. Elana Omoodua, the umbrella body of Yoruba self determination groups within and beyond Nigeria, has declared the rally is being planned to hold in the cities of Ikeja, Ibadan, Akure, Adoekiti, Oshobo, Abeokuta, Kaba, and Ofa in Lagos. Oyo, Ondo, Akure, Adoikiti, Oshun, Ogun, Kogi, and Kwara states respectively on Wednesday 24th March to drum up support for the actualization of the sovereignty of Yoruba nation. We have a meeting with all Yoruba social, cultural, and self-determination groups slated for Saturday, March 27th. After the meeting, we shall announce a new date for the 1 million man March. But it is possible next week. Thus, we put all the seats of power in Yoruba land on notice. We have declared our freedom from the failed Lugadian amalgamation of 1914. We have also declared our freedom from the fraudulent 99 constitution of Nigeria. The international community, including the United Nations, UN, European Union, EU, African Union, AU, Economic Community of West African State Takeovers and the Government of the United States and that of the United Kingdom have been put on notice. The Government of Nigeria is being challenged legally. We are not going to engage in any illegal or violent act. We shall achieve our liberation without shedding blood. We shall deploy our material and intellectual weapons to fight this battle. In other developments, IPOB, through its leader, Mazin Amdekano, has debunked the report by the Sahara reporters of the alleged killing of 16 Eastern Security Network members in Aba on Tuesday night by the Nigerian soldiers. Record that the Sahara reporters reported this morning that the uh, Nigerian army alleged to have killed 16 Eastern Security Network operatives at their camp located somewhere in Aba on Tuesday night, that was um, yesterday, yes, yesterday being March 23rd. Uh, according to the report, Nigerian military alleged that they have killed um, 16 of uh, ESN members in one of their camps following, a, according to them, an intelligent report that led them to the camp of the ESN. However, 
IPO Betro Mazin Americano has come out of the bunk that malicious reports telling Nigerian army to stop lying to the public and that they may have killed the innocent civilians and come out to say oh, they killed Eastern Security Network. In a publication made available by the publicity and media personnel of IPOB in more powerful, Mazin Americano asked the Nigerian army to stop lying but show the proof of their claim. Reacting to the deceptive publication, a more powerful said, ask the army and police to show pictures or videos of those ESN operatives they killed. Army, police or Air Force, including all the, all the other security outfits in Nigeria, cannot do ESN anything. Not when they killed innocent citizens and they tagged them ESN operatives, ask the soldiers to disclose where ESN camp is located and how it looks like. Don't mind the army propaganda machine because we know them before they come. They can't deceive us. ESN is rooted and Nigeria security agencies cannot come across them. ESN is out to defend and protect our land and forests. Nothing they can do to stop us. Let them come. We are waiting for them. Let them show the bodies of those they claim to have killed. Nigerian soldiers should stop lying to the public. Of course, this is what they know how to do best. They are lying. They don't start today. They have been lying. In fact, the foundation of Nigeria is built up on top of lies. That is why Nigeria is the only country that have their information minister as a liar. Proven liar. The only information minister that has no information to give but lies upon lies. They have not seen anything. There is no any amount of provocation or force that can stop what is going on or the revolution, a mega revolution that is upcoming right now. Well, in a related development, the unknown government, the angels, the heavily angels are still evangelizing in part of our bar. A long ecotip in a road at Bar Abia State. There was a report this afternoon that a checkpoint along the road was visited this afternoon by the unknown gunmen and three policemen actually gave their life to God because they are actually terrorists and they have been repenting they are repentant terrorists the ones that gave their lives to God can be regarded as repentant terrorists they are all terrorists in uniforms please guys do well to subscribe to our channel before you go thank you greatly for watching and do remember our leader Mazinam Dekan will be coming on air live this evening by 7 p.m. as usual. Be here for time.